Well, what it do, gang gang? This is your girl Lily Katie coming back to y'all with a read. Okay, I'm just gonna move this over because this is making me nervous. It's cool. Okay. All right, so let's see what the story is today. Welcome to the Divine Film Tribe. What it do, gang gang? If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. All right. Join the gang gang. We'd love to have you. All right. All right, so this is a story. Remember, it is general energy read. So take what's yours and leave what's not. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the love and light. All right, so let's go ahead and tap in real quick. What's going on, Spirit? And this is the highest white light. What is the message for the collective? We got, ooh, challenges. Pick me energy and sadness hmm with a bugaboo at the bottom of the deck a bugaboo so this is definitely giving me other person energy third party um i feel like between you and your person you it was a lot of challenges here okay um and i feel like this this connection had a lot of sadness and it was they were dealing with someone who wanted to be chosen okay they felt like they were better there was that the better opportunity i mean the better opportunity there was a the better choice here okay between you and them okay this person is definitely a bugaboo and was playing with your heart i felt like you could be someone who um where your Hard on your sleeve and this person knew that now i feel like now that you're pulling back or whatever has transpired that's causing this sadness here this person's being a bugaboo they want to play with you but ended up playing themselves okay loosen the grip okay i could have felt like i kind of felt like you was holding on to a situation that was not good for you okay like you needed to really let this person go i don't know if it's temporary or it's forever i have no idea okay but i just felt like this person could have been holding you back from something something better something great okay so you had to let this go and then i felt like it was a lot of challenges in this connection it was always something okay i felt like it was not easy it was it brought a lot of sadness heartache pain but i felt like you have overcame that, okay? You have grown into a beautiful, mar marvelous human being as soon as you walked away from whatever this is. Or if you are in the process of walking away, I feel like you're going to go through transformation like a butterfly. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It was so much unhappiness here. There's some challenges. It was just challenges, okay? Could have been dealing with a soulmate with the four wands here. Yeah, it was just a lot, okay? It was beating you up. Look at that brooding, beating and bruised. Like, so let's see what's going on. We're going to put some tarot on it. Tarot on it. Tarot on it. I can't even sort today. Oh, God. Some of y'all going to have a reason to celebrate too soon. Yeah, some of y'all going to have a real reason to celebrate. Hope my cards are the right, the right side up. All right. Yeah, Leo Energy Strength card. <coughs> Oof. Excuse me. Yeah, somebody was sneaking around with somebody. Seven of Swords with the Three of Cups. Now there go that sadness again. This is a it's a lot of sadness um, surrounding this um, this situation. Hang up and then you call right back. Not hanging up and calling back. Okay, let's get what's going on, Spirit, with the situation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you got it bad when you're stuck in the house. You don't want to have fun. It's all you. Somebody could be depressed. Okay. Let's see. Five of Cups energy. Yeah, I feel like it was a tower that has happened. Yeah, so, yeah I can't make this up. Somebody's a Nine of Swords energy. Somebody is definitely in their head. Okay. I feel like somebody feels stuck. They just don't know what to do. They just trying to get through it. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Somebody could be trying to keep busy to keep from thinking about stuff, staying in their head. They feel trapped. They could remember loosening the grip here. You could have felt trapped by this person, okay? You could have really felt trapped. Yeah, with this lover. All right. Let's see what else. Four cups. 
could it be? And I feel like they offered love to a person they don't really, yes, yeah, ended up in heartbreak. They was offering love to this pick me energy, but they really didn't want this person. And then I've noticed the three other cups here. So whoever you was dealing with could have like multiple lovers. But I feel like um, this just ended up in a lot of heartbreak sadness, okay? I feel like you're not the only one, that person that got hurt in this situation. I'm noticing the three swords in the heart. Again, third party. Oh, this person was off, ooh, for the streets. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. This person was definitely moving too fast, very immature, like with their behavior, in and out, not consistent, okay? And I felt like that could have been the biggest uh, blockage to this connection with the Nine of Wands, that this person was just too nighty. They weren't trying to grow up. They wasn't 555. They wasn't trying to change. They were stuck in their ways, okay? They weren't changing for nothing or nobody, okay? Yeah, and it's created burdens. Now, also, the person has to deal with a third party again, three of cups. Somebody has to deal with the burden of losing you. And I felt like it's getting so heavy that this person could also feel like they're stuck as well. I've also felt like, remember I said at the beginning, like, you were feeling stuck? But I feel like this person feels stuck too, and it's heavy. It's weighing on their heart right they're real depressed they, it's just a whole bunch of sadness here in this situation and it's kind of sad but i feel like you're finna be in a nine of pentacles energy if you're not already remember i said you finna transform transform butterfly energy okay yes you about to be happy son the sun you about to get everything that you want okay you're gonna be so fulfilled okay because i feel like this also this situation was burdening you and you did what you needed to do okay yeah, took a lot of strength, but you got through it. All right, confidence, but you you all of that. You're very confident, you're strong, you're you're beautiful, you're handsome, whatever the case may be. You're all of that. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords energy coming up with the star. I feel like you are getting a lot of mental clarity. And it's crazy because I feel like your person is in a totally different energy. Mentally, they're cloudy. They could be in an illusion, but you have so much clarity mentally, like... You just got a lot of clarity in your life. And I don't know what you did to get this clarity, but they say the truth will set you free, honey. Yeah. Somebody was also trying to keep you from having that mental clarity. They also wanted to keep you blinded and guarded for some reason. Whoever whoever this person was that you, that's on your mind or that you were dealing with, they did not want you to see the truth they did not want you to open your eyes up to i mean open your heart up to other people they want you to be very guarded um and only have eyes for them it is weird like they only wanted you to have eyes for them but they was around here d dealing with other people and pick me energy so it's kind of ass backwards like the fuck yeah what else spirit Ooh. This person needs to do some shadow work. The light is definitely ba um, battling with the darkness here. I'm getting like good and evil. Um, also seeing temptation. Um, good and evil. Um, this person have a lot of shadow work to do. Because I feel like they are very much so stuck in their shadow. Okay? What else, spirit? Should have known better than to doubt me. Somebody, yeah, perspective has changed with the Eight of Cups, the Hangman. This is like, you know, enlightenment. I think, remember I said you got so much clarity mentally. Remember, the Hangman's in this position voluntarily, okay? When it's like this, this confusion. I feel like you are no longer confused. You are enlightened. You're seeing things from a different viewpoint. You're looking at the bigger picture thinking. Yeah, you walked away. You ate a cup, stay ass. Deuces. Period. Yeah, this situation. Two of cups would have been, again, dealing with a soulmate. Um, and I feel like this situation was very hard for you. Um, I feel like it's a lot of sadness on both ends. Like, I feel like nobody is, is happy in this situation. It was just... It was just becoming too much for everybody involved. Even the pick me energy is not happy. Like it's just a lot of just sadness. The whole situation is just fucking sad. Okay. Um. What is this? 
Yeah, some of y'all are using your intuition to help guide you as well. Also, your person needs to... They, I feel like they're living in an illusion, okay? They, look, yep, illusion. Illusion, I just said it. The moon energy. I feel like, yeah. I feel like they're in an illusion. Spirit wants them to tap into the high priest or high priestess energy. Use that intuition and let it balance. I'm noticing the be balance things out, okay? Balance and justice here. All right, what else? Anything else before we go on to the next deck, Spirit? Yeah, Hermit. I feel like you letting Spirit guide you on this journey, okay? All right? I, I feel like it's been a rocky one, okay? It's been an emotional one. It's been a long one. But I feel like you're trusting Spirit. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles with the King of Wands. I feel like your person is moving very slow. I feel like... They know what they want to do. They just don't know how to do it. And I also feel like they're in the energy of like, they don't know. They try to come in. <laughs> like, okay. That's funny. I just, I guess. <laughs> they're running from whoever this other person is. They're, they're getting the fuck on. There again. It's just was this mm, challenges, not a sword. Just. Whatever they go, coming out of with this third party, they finna fucking run. They finna put their Nikes on, okay? That made me chuckle. But I feel like your person know where they want to go. Like, Nine of Pentacles move very slow, but once they get there, they, they, they stay. And I feel like your person, the energy of going towards what? Nine of Cups, what makes them happy? And I feel like that's you, but I feel like they want to do things differently now because they realize how much sadness they had when you were going. Okay? They don't want to go through this sadness again. All right? Yeah, they don't want to be sneaky no more. Seven of Swords. They don't want to sneak around no more. Okay? I felt like this was a wake-up call for them. Uh, uh-huh. You're getting justice, though. You're going to get blessed. And I feel like they also could have received some karma as well to make them change their ways. And I actually feel like they may change them. Like, they may actually be a better person. And that's good. Yeah, now they want to build with you, Ten of Pentacles. Also, you finna get some financial blessings. All right, you're gonna be able to move forward as well as for as well as your person want to move forward. The Chariot, they want to bring restore balance back to this connection because it was very much so off balance. Could have even been one sided. So, I, I'm getting that balance was a big thing. Spirit had to balance the situation out, balance the scales, justice, balance the scales. Okay, that shit wanted to jump. Let's see if it come back. I don't even know what the hell that was. Yeah, the Empress here. You're getting what you deserve, Emperor Empress, period. Okay? Yeah. Somebody is also reminiscing about you. Remember I said in their head, mental? It's all mental. Like, they are so much in their head. This shit is fucking crazy, yo. So, let's see. I also keep getting temptation. It could have been a sexual thing while they dealt with other people. It could have not necessarily been, you know, about, you know, what they truly made them happy. It was just like they was, again, stuck in that shadow side of them, okay? Somebody have become emotionally unavailable for the, towards this situation as well. I feel like everybody that's involved in this situation, maybe even you, is feeling a little bit, you know, have turned your emotions, have turned a little cold or whatnot. Like, you know, you needed some time to heal. I feel like healing had to be done full circle. The blind leading the blind. I feel like whoever they were dealing with were people who were like them. Okay, I feel like you are not like your person. You are, you bring a different type of light out of your person. Okay, I feel like these people they were dealing with felt she fed, fed your person's pride and ego. Um, it could have been some so, some codependency there. Okay, I'm hearing drugs. Could be a lot of drug use. Yeah, secrets are being exposed though. Everything I didn't I say like you have some type of, um, you have some type of um clarity maybe you found out things or uh they just you just got some clarity in your life okay things were being exposed to you 
all right and your person is still living in the shadow they living in the dark they can't get out of it and it's like consuming them at this point now that you're not there yeah pressure built the pipe it's busted the pipe it's so much emotions especially sadness like this is some depressing ass shit y'all like it's so much sadness it's so sad oh it makes me so sad it's a lot of he built up emotion I feel like this person tried to, you know, hold on to their um, emotions because, you know, they was doing it to control you, okay? Or leave you hanging. Yeah, whoever they're dealing with does not like you, okay? We already picked that up multiple times. These third parties do not like the true defined feminine or masculine of the connection. Didn't I say it's, it's sexual? Okay. Whatever they're dealing with is all about six, strictly sex. It's, it's so empty there, okay? Feeling from an empty-ass cup, how that work? Feeling, feel, feeling up from a negative zero, you know? Yeah, now this person wants us to apologize to you for whatever they did. Because um, they didn't see things clearly. They were blind. They didn't see the value in you. They didn't see who you for who you were. So now that you're gone, now they're seeing that because they were doing way too fucking much. But not right time to say goodbye. Baby sitting there now, let's talk. Remember I said the the your purse is gonna run from that third party, they're gonna get the fuck on. I swear it only been a minute. You wanna say when I finish? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, somebody was on that thought shit. They was running around these streets. Okay. I keep doing that with my nails. Hold on, y'all. Where you walk? Ooh, I'm gonna take it. That shit nearly jumped out my hand. I'm telling you, there is so much unhappiness and sadness. Y'all thought I was joking. Like, this shit's heavy. You know, it's, it's, this is a heavy-ass shit. Yeah, look, they dealing with people everywhere, holding different area codes. Wait, what the fuck? I don't know what I don't want you, but they can't have you. That's been coming up, too. Some of these people don't even want this person. They just want sex. But they want to keep them from you. Look, they be looking good on the outside, but empty on the inside. Them Jezebels, them pick-me energies. All oh, this, that's too much. Picking. It's a better why, why. Yeah, there go that moon energy that came out. Your price is definitely an illusion. I keep saying that. Trying to turn a karmic into a housewife or a husband. Hmm. They in a fucking delusion. They're trying to turn... A situation that's supposed to be temporary to something, you know, long term or solid, and it's not. They in look, they're in fucking denial. Can't make this shit up. They're in fucking denial. They know they're dealing with a, a karmic, divine feminine or masculine. They know that because they they're, they're like a toilet. Everyone takes a piss, but it's a trail of tears behind them. They just keep hurting people. Your person, it's crazy. They 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 hurt you for someone that they know is is not for them. Like. They know this situation is not permanent. This situation is temporarily. It's nothing but sex. But still, they hurt you over this. This don't even make shit. Yeah, they ain't got a lot of entanglements. Look at them entangled as hell. Just dealing with a lot of entanglements. Not stuff that's not supposed to be. You know, they know it's not going to be long term. But they still deal with it. Why? Because they're addicted. It's strictly sexual. You are under a lot of ancestral protection at this time. And I felt like that's who stepped in and, like, separated this. No sunshine when they gone. They had to learn a lesson. You are the light. Love times it makes me want to cry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Somebody is definitely crying. Somebody is so sad. Like, it's just... Got to argue with them because they love a toxic motherfucker. Like, whoever they're dealing with is very much so argumentative, uh, problematic. That type of energy. They like causing fights. They like doing stuff to trigger your person do y'all see that look at the song playing that is scary but like i feel like i don't know i don't know no what's that i know you like i know you lying motherfucking like this person don't like to say no and i feel like even though someone love in reverse underneath the bottom of that you know what's crazy 
even though this person know that this person is not for them, they still deal with them. And I got to understand, it's like, it's some negative attachment there that keeps this person there. Like, they can't, you know, let this, they, they can't let this person go. But they know this is the right time to say goodbye. Like, I'm trying to understand this because this ain't making no sense to me. Like, they know good and well that they're not supposed to be with this person. Look, team and tower moments, didn't I say I seen the tower? Look, time moments are happening. I'm trying to understand, like, what is, like, with this lover, four cups, I can't make it up. Like, what the fuck is keeping them there? Let's, Spirit guys, this is the highest white light. What is keeping my person, I mean, not my person, my peep, my collective person, um, stuck on this other person or this third party that's toxic that they know that is supposed to be temporary? Yeah, what's keeping them from leaving? Eight of Cups. Hmm. Okay. It's something that this person could have on your person. Yeah. They try they want to be free the judgment card. But it's something that if it gets out from the past. So I'm getting it's something that your this person has on your person. Something that can ruin. Yep, and that's why. I can't make this up. They stuck and they have to deal with it. It's something from the past that they don't want to get out like a secret or something. Yes. Yes. It's something. This is communicate. They scare people telling everybody something. Yes. It's something that they are. Yeah, from the past. I can't make this shit up. But change, they, they feel like it would change people's viewpoint of them. Something in the past. I can't make this up. This person could have did something. Um that is just out of their character or that's not who they truly are. It's like a secret that this person is holding over their head. It could even be a secret that could get them in trouble. Like it's something that keeps this person dealing with this person and trying to keep this person happy. And this person don't like to be told no. So it's fucking crazy, yup. Could have been something about some money Okay, yeah, the emperor, here you go. Could have been something about some money. Okay, with the queen of pentacles and the emperor. Okay, could be some work shit. I don't know. Yeah, but your person just really want this to be laid to rest. They tired of dealing with it. They tired of being hurt. Okay, they don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, Yeah, they tired of fighting. All my life I had to fight, but I'm tired of fighting. Man, this is crazy. So it's like something, there you go again. It's about money. The choice they made. I felt like it's something with money. They made a choice. They made the wrong motherfucking choice. And this person is holding on to this. Look. Trying to control the, the relationship, the connection. This Queen of Wands energy. Yep. Yep. Something that this person knows about them that they're hiding. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's a secret. Yeah, and it keeps them stuck. They can't move forward, even though they're ready to get the fuck on. And they want to go towards someone that they truly love, and they can't because they're afraid of their secret being exposed that could get them in a whole bunch of fucking trouble. Yeah. That is crazy. Anything else, Spirit? Because I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense why this person... Don't want to deal with somebody, but keep dealing with them. It just didn't. Yeah, they feel stuck. They just want to be happy, honey. They just want to be happy and be with you, and they want to take a leap. Of faith. They like at this point, they don't care what happens. They trying to move forward, get away from this person because it's driving them mentally crazy. Okay, they like whatever happens after I do this move. I don't give a fuck what this person do with the information they got or these secrets being exposed. I don't care. Like. I have to get away from this person. I'm going to have to do what I got to do. I'm just going to do it. The food cart. I'm just going to go towards my happiness. Because I can't live like this no more. That's what that energy is. Like, I can't live like this no more. It's some bullshit. I can't live like this. Dealing with this over something like this. I just, it's just too unbearable. Yeah. Your person wants to go towards the one that they love. They step into their magician energy, okay? They're going to go towards what makes them happy. Someone who's nurturing, loving, caring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they want to collaborate with that person. They don't want to deal with this other third party. They over it. They over it. Yup. They ready to go. Yeah. Were they happy? Page of Cups. 
Yeah, but this person is, is still holding on to some information and using it as a way to control your person. Like, your person don't want them to stab them in the back with this information or whatever they know, whatever they did, whatever they, whatever information they're holding. They're tired of it being used against them to control them. Um, this this person using them with the Ten of Swords, this person using this information. I get it, like, using information to keep this person stuck. And that's why I, it was a disconnecting because I seen that this person doesn't really want to deal with this energy, but it's like they still do, and I couldn't understand it. Now I got it. They they fearful of the 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 consequences if they stop, even though like you know it was sexual and things like that. I feel like it was deeper than that. Like you know. Uh, there was a situation that happened or some, some shit that went down. This person knew about it or some information they're holding over this person's head, like blackmailing them. And that's what's like really making them want to stay because, I mean, we're making them have to because they don't want this shit to come out. They don't want people to look at them differently or to judge them, okay, with the high friend. They don't want people to change their viewpoint of them or, you know, change their ways of thinking or viewing them. So that's why they deal with the person. It's just kind of sad, bro. That was a tough one. That was tough. But I hope you enjoyed this reading. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Join my gang gang. We'll love to have you. Peace.